Hello, hello, welcome on back to an episode of Stone Hearth. Um, so, between last episode and this episode thus far, they've done a bit more mining, but um, heard a little notification sound while I had the game running and let them do their mining stuff and whatnot. Panting refugees appear on the horizon. What? There are wolves in the woods. Run away while you still can. What? What? Okay, so the game obviously thinks that uh, we are in the forest instead of the desert. Um, so that's a small bug with the updates with the uh, old... Um, old... Save. What the hell? Where did those guys come from? Where did that come from? By the way, that crypt looks really awesome. Uh, good job Radiant on that. really like this building. Yeah, the building looks amazing. Definitely screams crypt to me. Actually, this entire area screams crypt to me. Um, toothy, tooth, toothy people eater. Uh, Lancer the fearsome, Edwina the rabbit. Eh, I'm not too fan. I'm not. I, I'm really not a big fan of those names, but uh, toothy people eater. I like that name. Uh, Goby the said said what? Sagacious. Okay. Uh, Ogi the magnanimous. Obno Thornpants. <laughs> that last name, Thornpants. <laughs> Bayon Deathfist. Okay. Uh, our workers never actually went out there to grab the stuff that I told them to reclaim yet, either. Um, I don't know if that's just a testament to how much I've told them to mine and stuff, or if it's a testament to the game still needing some fixes here and there uh, with AI, because uh, that I, I feel like that me how long ago I've told them to gather this stuff. That they should have gone and done it already. But, uh, maybe not. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to head back on over to here to take out those goblins. Because they are a threat, and I don't want them stealing our stuff that we want to reclaim. Uh. Wait. The goblins are attacking the crypt stuff. That's interesting. Are you guys going to kill them off a bit faster here? Also, did you guys pick up the shields? You did. Awesome. That'll help. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and loot everything here. And have those guys catch up to the other guy and to kill him as well. With, the, with, the, with their hammers. Hammer. Hammer hammer bros. I should rename these guys to the uh, hammer bro group. Just because they have the uh, stone mallets. And in reference to Mario, yes. Great to the hammer bro guys in uh, Mario don't have shields. Eh. We'll, uh, we'll have them keep shields. Also, let's see... Can we have them go attack, move over to here, and win against them? Oh. What the hell? Realak the Tormentor, practitioner of the Dark Arts. Okay, so he's like a Nogromancer, apparently. Uh, Takaya Wormskull yearns for flesh, and Alex Azami also yearns for flesh. Alrighty, sorry about that little brief interruption. We have a 23-year-old uh, cat, by the way, who, uh, as of late, and as of late being the past month or two, tends to meow pretty much every time he wakes up from sleeping. It's very annoying and difficult to record and stream, for that matter, with that uh, kind of noise in the background. Anywho, uh, Alex the Zombie also yearns for flesh and Crispin the Dead <laughs> yearns for flesh, of course. So... I'm curious to know, we have th what, what appears to be three different factions here. Uh, the undead, the goblins, and soon to be me over there. Hmm. Those guys seem to be having a bit of trouble leaving. Uh, let's have you guys move over to here. Over here, please. Go 
because you guys were kind of losing it against them. Will you, will you stop trying to attack them over there? Hmm. I want to see what the undead do. Okay, you guys head back in there, and then after that you guys can do whatever. Hmm. So the undead are destroying stuff over here. Wait, what does it say? Constructed by the Phoenix Empire. Huh? Interesting. The goblin staying away from way like the tormentor. Hmm. Are you guys under the effects of um, the the blight stuff or whatever? Infected prevents natural health recovery via willpower. Yeah, it looks like you guys are. Interesting. Okay. Um, hopefully these guys don't become a threat too soon. Uh, they're also in the spot where I would have liked to put a wall behind them. That we were talking about uh, last episode. Wait, was that last episode? I don't. I don't recall actually. Uh, recently when we were talking about that anyway. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna make another cut here. Uh, not for the animal, uh, the one that kept wanting to meow at me, and in general, but uh, for them to continue mining and whatnot so we can actually uh, start work on that like I said we would this episode. But uh, some strange and interesting things have happened, and it's very good to know that uh, our world is classified as a forest world and not a desert world due to those updates. So, that explains the raccoons and the squirrels that we saw down here-ish? Was it down over here? Or was it over here? Uh, somewhere around here we saw them. But yeah, that, that, was, that was interesting to see. So, yep, gonna make another cut here and uh, let these guys continue whatever it is they're doing. If uh, no, something else interesting happens, I'll be sure to uh, bring this in and uh, we can see what the hell is going on. But uh, give me just a second. Alrighty, they are still mining away, but... Um, the daily update, the daily update here, indicates that we actually have the food and morale and net worth to get another Hearthling, so we will be accepting that. And uh, who joins us now? Van Duck Sayar has joined Bull Ebri. Awesome. Okay. Well, these guys are still going to be mining away, and uh, hopefully, oh, that was the wrong direction. Uh, and hopefully that extra guy will make this a bit faster than it has been thus far. But uh, we will have to wait and see on that one. Um, not much time has passed actually since the last little 40 second clip or so, but um, what the hell are these things? Why are they showing up? They honestly look like forest creatures outside of the golem. He's just a pebble, huh? What are the names? Waster Geldersmelt, Devotee of the Diamond Star, uh, Bless Gold Clink. And uh, Gundel Bling. All of them are devotees of the Diamond Star. And who the hell are you? Rolfi Dream Fury, designated Hearth Tender. What? And that's a wicked fire pit. Um, so I was actually going to have our guys come over here and then attack these guys over here and then leave and then do that repeatedly, but. Um, now I'm curious to know what the hell these things over here are about. They look like they're ranged since they have the bow icon and it looks like all, at least three of those things are carrying bows. I'm not sure if I'm up for this. And also, are they attacking? They're attacking the stone golem. What the hell is going on over here? What the hell is going on in this game? They have changed so much since I last played. Also, these guys need to go over here faster. Like, come on. Pick up the base, guys. Pick up the base. 
Okay, and our guys do not like the uh, devotee guys. Apparently. Like, we're helping out the golem, but we're also an enemy of the golem. Huh. Okay, I might have to tell you guys to retreat for now. I go ahead and retreat for now. Uh, we'll come back at them soon enough, and it's very interesting that Wolfie Dream Fury did not do anything in that little skirmish of ours. Like, he's still not doing anything against his golem, he's not doing anything against the Diamond Star people. What is going on with them? I don't know. Don't know at all. And uh, these guys need to heal up and uh, grab some food. So I'm only gonna want them to do that. Uh, in the meantime, let's cancel these actions that we have on these things, uh, even though I want them to be reclaimed. We have enemies on the outside there, and I don't know if our guys would be able to go out there and claim that stuff for us and be able to return. I am interested in watching this fight though. Oh, the fight didn't last much longer. Uh, speaking of fights, What's been going on over here? Is this goblin still over here? Still over here. Uh, how's his health? Less than half, okay. Just just about 25%, looks like. Uh, he's lost only about 25% of his health. It doesn't look like those guys have lost any health. Um, they don't even seem to be care about attacking the uh, big chest over here. But they destroyed everything else over here. And it looks like the goblins actually did a decent amount of work on their place as well. Interesting. Uh, how's, uh, how's mining going on over here, guys? Fairly well, looks like. Um, in that case, uh, where are our two hearthlings at here? One of them's there, resting up, and where is the other one? The other one is just out on patrol, looks like, at the moment. Okay. So not much we can do with them at this time. Um, let's take a look. Is there an archer class by chance? There is. A level 3 footman and an archer's bow crafted by the carpenter is uh, where the archer's bow is from. Do we have a carpenter? If I remember correctly, the blacksmith makes a carpenter saw, does it? He does. And he's not level 4 yet. Okay. Uh, this is actually better than the stone mallets we've been using. Really, that requires wood logs. We don't have any wood. Um, I'm gonna have you craft up two of those at some point, and uh, that's going to require four of these. Uh, we may actually have to make a purchase of some wood logs next time we see them. Because there really is nothing around here that we can do, unless, unless, did they add something about farming trees? Out of trees, get ready to participate in reforestation. Yes, they did. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's go ahead and remove that, because that was just a randomly placed bot for me to be able to see if they had them or not. Uh, and we are going to be able to make an 11 by 10? What? That's a weird size. Should be 11 by 11, right? Yeah, it is. It's stopping me over here. Is it this ladder? Oh, it must be that ladder that's stopping me. Uh, let's go ahead and... As much as I don't want to... Let's go ahead and tell them to harvest that. Let's see if we can speed this up a bit so they harvest it a bit faster. Which will give us a bit of wood, though it's cactus logs instead of the uh, other type of wood that we need. And let's actually pause really quick. So that's carrot. That is golden gourd. Okay. 
Uh, that is corn, and that is cactus flower, right? Yeah. So let's see, if we make another plot here, and uh... Oh, watermelon's new. Takes a while to grow, but very fun to eat. I'm gonna have you plant watermelon there, actually. And let's see... We are actually going to have maybe a couple spots here for the uh, trees. I'm thinking. There and possibly there. We may at some point uh, mine out this bit here just to make that a little bit further back and a bit less awkward. I think for now that'll work. And let's also have one up here. Okay. Farmers will be able to get to work on that. Uh, since we have two, there should be more than enough. And a uh, simple merchant has shown up, huh? You don't really have jack shit. Um, I would be interested in the bolts of cloth. And this full of thread. But that's really about it, honestly. And I'm still gonna pass that on that. Uh, animal pasture. Shepherd will bring animals here to graze. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we've seen about that in traffic grounds. We've dealt with those in the past. Um, do are we able to actually create a trapper by chance? Let's see. If I was just gonna make you a trapper, Jargon, could I? I could. But let's have someone maybe a bit more better in their body stat. Uh, your spirit sucks, your mind sucks, but your body stat is wonderful. Mm. I would rather go with uh, Talon Kara as our trapper, so uh, congratulations! You are becoming our trapper. And when you do that, we'll be able to set up a trapping ground. Possibly on the outskirts here? I don't know... Oh, hello. Hello, raccoon. And hello, fox. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely looks like some weird things happened with our save with the updates. Uh, wait. Wait. Is there a limit on how big we can make this? Okay, it looks like a 50 by 50 is our max size here. That's fine. Uh, let's see. That should be more than enough space. I don't know if the trapping grounds would require small animals to be nearby. Um, I think they did at one point, but uh, maybe not anymore. We'll have to see on that. But yeah, wouldn't we, uh... Let's see. Let's quickly look at the trapper now. Talonkara, if we were to tell you to become a shepherd, what do you need? A level 2 trapper and a shepherd's crook crafted by the carpenter. Okay. So the, uh, the trapper is going to have to level up a bit before we can turn them into a shepherd, which I would like to do, actually. Uh, the other thing we'd like to do is tell our guys to head back out there and kill them off. And see what they do with Rolfy Dream Fury. He has a red border, which makes me think he is an enemy. But he's not doing. He wasn't doing anything against Golem. He wasn't doing anything against my guys when they were out there. So I'm curious to know what what all that's about. You guys are about to show up, though. Um. So they're. Okay, so these guys did not initially attack us. And uh, Blust Gold Clink is running away, and Rofi Dream Fury is still standing there. I feel like this is going to be a lot of running around trying to catch up with these guys, because they're fucking archers. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I had this fight going on in uh, double speed right now.
So much running around. Uh, Ulio Amara, uh, Amaya, Amaya, whatever. Reached, uh, from at level 5. Cleave, wait. They apparently had to cleave. I remember that being not implemented last time I saw that. Slashing strike that deals damage to up to four enemies around the footman's target. Oh, and max of 10 HP. Okay, now they're attacking Wolfy Dream Fury, who is just running away, like a coward, because he is just a worker, apparently. Yep, running away, running away, running away. What was that? Right here. And Aaron Sardis has reached level 5 as well. Awesome. Okay, you guys are going to do your thing at destroying that. Uh, and I'm actually going to tell my guys to reclaim stuff that's been taken from out here. Or out this way. Okay, and let's see. Party of number one. Let's go ahead and cancel our combat order. Uh, actually, I'm going to tell you guys to move inside the place, and then after that you guys are free to do whatever you want. Uh, what's going on over here? Giant zombie. Okay. Goblin's still alive. He's still alive. His buddies are still alive. Wow, are we seriously that short on food? We, we are five food short of getting another guy. Makes me slightly disappointed, to be honest. Um. Oh, there's another goblin over there. Yeah, it looks like a lot of enemies are piling up over here. That's, uh, that, that may not be good for us in the future. Also, how are you guys doing on my. Whoa, wow, that's a lot of things on the ground. Okay. That is a lot of things on the ground. Uh, let's... Do, do we have any more furniture? Any more chests that we can put down here? So that's four. Four more, uh, chests put down. Could probably get away with another one somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, like this... Th this building here that we've, uh, put nothing in. It doesn't put another chest in there, I guess. Well... Eh. Actually, I would prefer they didn't, but, uh... We'll put it there and see if they can still access this chest or not. If not, then we'll definitely have to move it. How do I move that? Through the icon right there. Okay. And after the game saves, of course. Yeah, it looks like uh, we are getting there on uh, furniture and whatnot. Um, I think next episode, if they're not done with mining all this out, we'll uh, try to decorate the town a bit. I know I said that at one point that we would, but we just haven't yet. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure our potter is working on some decorative stuff along with uh, whoever else can add value to our town and uh, beautification of it. Uh, I am slightly disappointed by the way that these guys are over here and we'll have to figure out a way to maybe deal with them um, soon. Soon. So our farmers still have yet to... Oh no, they did plant some seeds, okay. It looks like they started on that, but they had to go back to the uh, carrots? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit more combat, a little bit more mining progress. Uh, how much more is left on this project, actually, over here? Okay, they got that room left, this room, and that and that. Looks to be all that's left, and then clearing out of all the materials in here. Uh, they also have all this mining still to do on that level and the level down below it. So, quite a bit of mining left, quite a bit of building left, too, for them with those two buildings and, uh, the wall here. Which I'm really disappointed that they haven't finished yet. Oh, might be able to see better if those weren't down. Yeah, they have this here to finish, and it looks like they put the scaffolding on the inside, so they're... I, I think they might be a little confused on how to get in there and out. Well, uh... We'll maybe add a ladder in there some way. Mm. Oh, we could actually remove that building, huh? Interesting. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at all that 
maybe next episode as well as the decoration bit. But uh, until next time, as always, take it easy and thanks for watching.